Mama. Good morning. It's pretty bad in London, as usual. Anyway, I wanted to thank you so much for all the beautiful messages that you sent me about the celebration of Ogun video. That would make any ego super happy. <laughs> thank you. What's going on there? All right, they're quite excited for being 8 a.m. on a weekday. So I wanted to address some of the questions that I am asked the most, which are about how to make it in the independent music game. And I do have some opinions about it, and I'm gonna share them with you right now. How do I make it in the music business? <laughs> That's the million dollar question. Well, I would have had different answers if you asked me the same question 10 years ago or 10 years before and probably I will have a different answer if you ask me in 10 years time. Right now, the answer is you don't. You don't make it in the music business because there is no music business. There is you, there is the internet and there is your power to entertain, your power to create interesting music, your power to communicate with people and uh, the time where a big label will come around and make you a star that time is gone it is still portrayed like that by mainstream media the X Factor, the Britain's Got Talent whatever, that is just a show competitions are for horses not artists so my suggestion is just make your music use the internet use the social media create interesting content and create your own space create your own world everything else will follow that including signing tracks with bigger labels it's also a matter that you have to deserve it and you have to be very honest about okay is my music good enough the way you know is just by playing your music against the music that you really really like can it sustain the comparison could these two track live on the same playlist one next to the other would your music sound good enough or would it not well if it doesn't i would suggest to keep on working on your craft a bit more before you even try and send tracks to the label set you like trust me i have waited i'm still waiting but i have waited a long time before i thought do you know what this track could really make it on this label it would work it deserves to be there but you gotta be honest how do you get BBC radio or the bigger radios or big DJs to play your music huh again they don't they won't unless your music is so powerful that they have no choice or you are so famous that they have no choice I have to say with BBC honestly they are looking for good content original content and they don't care so much how famous you are unless it's BBC Radio 1 the primetime show whatever but BBC Radio 6 BBC Radio 2 BBC there are many channels and uh, you can reach them select the programs that are likely to play your kind of music listen to those programs and say Will my music be good enough for that program? If the answer is yes, get the email of the presenter or the producer. Everything is available on BBC and uh, submit your music. You might get lucky. To be accepted by other DJs. Now, this is very tricky. Very, very tricky because there are a lot of DJs who are truly kindred spirits and uh, they are in for the music and they are in for the arts. And most DJs in my circle, they are like that. However, there is an element of competition which you cannot underestimate especially with the medium big DJs who are very happy of what they have but they feel threatened about losing what they have so in a way at first they will not pay attention to your music because you just started in the business who are you on the other hand when you're rising and maybe you have more talents than they do then you might be a threat that's another reason for them not to give you space of course we're talking about the small-minded DJs but unfortunately there are a lot of them out there and some of them are really successful the answer to that is become big become big bigger than them and kick their ass yes in other words there is nothing stopping you from the person that you're now to become the person that you want to be all it takes is not trading the dream for the security the reason why I'm wearing this shirt today is because I want to pay homage to the Calle Ocho Café Cubano in Bordeaux. They've just celebrated their 20th anniversary and they did a fantastic compilation which I am part of. I suggest you to check it out. It's a beautiful compilation. And now it's time to play some music. Ah! 
Tajima Ta 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 Tá, 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 tá,